Good morning, Stans fans. We're heading offshore right now. We got my dad. This is actually his first time on the new boat. We're still under quarantine, so we're just keeping to our close friends and family. But we're going out. We're gonna go try to catch a golden tile fish. Haven't caught one in a while, but love to catch one to eat here. Leaving Bud and Mary's now. You can see it in the background. We got Ricky over here. Make sure to check out the Bud and Mary's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Um, lots of backcountry videos, some off offshore videos on there too. Coot it up! Oh, we got there bait we go. now! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, yeah! Toothy critter, barracuda. We were throwing in the towel. Got the bite on the last second. Trolling a dead ballyhoo on wire. We got fresh bait, guys. That could be the ticket. So you're saying you want to eat it? I'm not going to eat it. Are you fed? I don't eat any kind of fish. Okay. He eats pork chops, doesn't eat fish. That's right. <laughs> Trying to catch dinner. We want groceries, baby. What are we putting down there for bait? Well, we got squid, we got barracuda, and we got some frozen stuff in there too. A little mixed gotcha. bag. And some heavy weights. Well, what I'm doing right here, kind of want the uh, squid to lay flat on the hook. So I'm hooking it twice. I'll show you real quick. The first place I put it, right here by the top, right through the center. Come down, pull that up, get a little bit of a bend in there these circle hooks put that second one down and pull it up so it stays on there nice and good and get that eye to hook pop right through that first hole that we did yeah. even got a nice chunk of fresh barracuda you guys might be wondering why we're using the electric reels we got on an eight pound lead a piece of rebar eight pounds it's 740 feet deep here we're gonna be fishing 700 thousand feet today and cranking a five to ten pound lead is not fun we may go to a lighter rod if we can. If the current slows down, maybe hand crank later, but we want to try to catch one first, so we got the heavy rig out. Might have just parked some there, you guys. Could be them. All right, Brandon, you ready? Yes, sir. Five seconds, and we're going down. Uh, you can hit the uh, free spore. All righty, go ahead, Brandon. Deploy. All right, we're on the bottom there. So that bouncing on the on the bottom sometimes we think creates a little commotion, knocks the dirt around and gets the fish to come over and uh, investigate what's going on. Oh, there he is. It's like a con. It's a hake. Look at that. Nice. Ugly thing. Ugly. About as ugly as me. All blowing up. Look at that. But I bet he's good eating. Is that the first hake you ever caught, Ricky? That's my first hake. We, we only catch a few of those here. I've caught a handful, but uh, rare yeah, catch. Yeah, look at these little weird things there. It's like a catfish almost. There's some kind of <laughs> like sensors. A... Well, I got dinner. We got these guys on electrics. Bean wants to go on the hand crank. We got the high speed torque right here on the long rod. We call His nickname is Bean. We call him the Bean Pole. This here is a bean pole too. Long skinny surf rod, kind of looks like him, so down he goes. Now you know it's 750 feet here, right? Oh yeah, we're cranking her up. Alrighty. What if you get Megalodon? Hand cranking it up. 30 pound golden tile, baby. Hand cranking it up. All right, everybody's six feet apart. All right, Steven got a rosy. Rosy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Little. 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 That's right, better than nothing. Little dude. All right, big old cluster here. Bean, you gotta take that bean pole somewhere else. This was not my idea, by the way. Move that thing out of me to do this. No golden tilefish yet. One rosefish, one hake. 
We might have another Rosie on now, it looks like. And the beam tangled up his rod with our rods on this side. Not my deal. Yeah, it was. Bad beam. Not my Bad deal. beam. Bad beam. Just look at that Big Rosie. Rosie. Yeah. Rosie, baby. Big Rosie there, you guys. Steven got one. Black belly rose fish. They're full of spikes. Look at their cheeks there. Look at the gills. Thing will lay you open. Black belly rose fish. Got a black throat in there. When you clean them, their belly lining is really black too. Tile, baby, tile. We got him, we got him on. Barrel fish now. We thought it was a big tile bite, could be a big barrel fish. He's swimming the lead up. Kind of what they do. Heartbreaker, we waited three hours for that good bite. Just pull the hook, guys. Woo! Smoke and drag. So this could either be a golden tile or a barrel fish. We're gonna find out, hopefully. The bean has been uh, quarantining and he's lost a lot of weight, so he's getting skinny. We need to fatten him up. We need some fish. I need some fish, man. Need yeah, some, we all do. Need some meat in a cooler. We need some meat on his bones. He needs a or mermaid to bring eating, back to the houseboat. Or else we're eating barracuda tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be barracuda for dinner. Barracuda burgers. I see color. I see color. See color. What we got there? What we got? It's a big tile. Big. It's a big tile, man. It's white. It's light. I think it's, oh my god! Oh, it's a barrel fish. Huge barrel fish. It's a giant barrel fish. Uh, barrel, baby. Big oh my barrel. God, I've never seen a barrel this big, though. It's a big barrel. Oh my god! Nah, yeah, big barrel. There you go, big barrel. He's 25 plus. Get him, baby. Big barrel. Oh my Woo! god, it's the biggest pearl fish that, I've baby. ever seen. That's oh my god. Look at that. Monster Wait, barrel. Look Check him out. Hooked. Just by the skin of his feet. Look at that. Look at that That's hook right there. That's a spot for that hook to be. That, that, look at, look at that hook. Right in the corner. Right in the corner. That ain't coming out What's of up? there. Barrel fish! Come here, Woo! come here, Richard. Big barrel. Alright, I'll get in there. It smells like a barrel. <laughs> These are slimy things. I've never seen one like that. This is one of the slimiest fish we catch. <laughs> I touched him for like two seconds and look at how slimy my hands are. Oh As you God. can see, the slime is really thick on these fish. I know it is. That's a they're fish. super slimy. <laughs> Show me one more time. It's corona slime. Oh, wow. Get Steven's tile. got him on, big tile on, big tile on. Get Steven, get Steven. You can see it's fighting different, just that slower pull there. That seems like him. Yeah, it's not Hey, let him, watch around, let him run. That's him. That's the one we want, baby. Take your time, Steven. This could be the tile. How long have we been here, Ricky? Three and a half hours have been fishing. I think so. Finally getting some bites. You now, you may be asking why we're using an electric reel, but you know, we're in over 800 feet of water, 840 feet, an eight pound piece of rebar for a sinker. We've been out here three and a half hours. We just want to catch dinner. We're not trying to sport fish here. We want dinner fish. We want groceries. Steven could have a tile fish on. We really want a golden tile. Ricky got a tile. I hope so. Ricky got a huge barrel fish, 26 pounds on the boga grip and uh, a couple rosies and a hake so far. We need a tile. I'm starving. I'm starving here. Starving, starving. Starving here. Steady Steve, is it a tile fish or a barrel? Get it flashing around down there. Looks like a big tile, right? Good tile. Oh, it's a nice tile. Oh, that's a beautiful tile. Beautiful tile. He's 25 pounds. Yeah. Look at that tile fish, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy. Look at that tile. Oh, boy. Look at that. It's going to be 30. Yeah, baby. Big tile fish, baby. Steven. Woo! What a tile. That's what we're here for. Look at him. Three and a, yeah. Yeah. We fished three and a half hours for that one bite and we got it. It's a beautiful golden tile, probably 25 pounder. Steven got them. Look at that blue line right there. Look at there. these pretty colors though, all those dots. They got this little fin on top of their head, this little wiggler too. Yeah, that's a 25 pound fish. Oh yeah. Bean, is that the first tile fish you ever seen golden? This is the first time I've ever seen a golden tile. First time Bean's all ever right. seen a golden tile. First I've ever seen too. 
Oh boy. Oh, first one Ricky ever seen. Oh too. boy, look at that now. All right, guys, we're gonna put him on the bogus. See what he goes. It's a 30-pound scale. Let's see where he goes on it. What do we got? It's bottomed out now. What we got there? I think it's bottomed out. That's a 30-pounder. That's 30. You guys, the scale goes at 30 pounds. It's bottomed out. 30-pound golden towel fish. All right, we got a monster golden towel, you guys. That's the fish we wanted. We worked hard for him. Got a big barrel fish. Got some rosies, a hake. We're bringing up the lines now. We're gonna run back to Bud and Mary's, clean up the fish. We'll see you in the kitchen. All right, so we're back at Bud and Mary's. We're actually gonna gut the tile fish and um, let them sit on ice overnight. We're gonna clean them tomorrow. We'll let them relax, and then that meat will be better tomorrow to eat. If you eat it tonight, it'll be a little tough and chewy, but there he is, I mean, beautiful colors in there. Got that little flapper up there. But this is the most impressive thing. Bean, show us the slime. Look at the slime on the barrel fish, you guys. As he died, more and more excreted. I mean, that is crazy. It's like a nice cheese pool once you get a good pizza, ain't it? That is good, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look, here he is. Go back. There's his guts. I was going to see if he had anything in his stomach, but it doesn't really look like much. He's going for uh, Nick's rebound. Looks kind of empty. That's why he ate it so well. That's why he was hungry. Hungry. There's his stomach, but it is empty. Nothing in it, so he's gutted. We're gonna put him in the cooler, ice him down, then clean him tomorrow. Shark grabbed it. The dock was shaking. You can see Ricky me shaking. I didn't have nothing to lean on. I had to let go and Bean got it back. Wow, Bean. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been three days. We gutted that fish, let him sit on ice. I was going to clean him the next day, but I talked to one of my buddies. He's a commercial fisherman. He said wait three, four, even five days. So it's the third day. We packed that golden towel fish in ice. The barrel fish is too. We're going to go clean him now, and that meat will be a lot more tender and much better for eating tonight. Still got all his colors. You can still see some fresh blood, so he was iced down good. Let's go clean him up. The eyes are still clear, so you know that's good. A lot of times if fish is not ice good or if it's getting rotten, the eyes will get foggy, but that eye is really clear, so you can tell he's still good. So this is the third day. Just gonna spray him off. And we're gonna knock the sides off of him. We're gonna cook him tonight. I want it fried. I don't like fish. I like the ketchup and the batter only. All right, he wants fried fish. Right. Here we go, check it out, guys. You see, it tastes like lobster. Starting down by his tail, working our way up his backbone, all the way up into his head. That little flapper there is kind of cool looking. And that is the general consensus. A lot of people do compare golden tile fish to lobster, just the density of it the uh, texture of it and all that, so. But we did the top side, now we're just gonna come along to the bottom side. And that's part of the reason we let this fish sit for a few days and relax on ice, just for the meat to soften up and everything to get tender. We don't catch a lot of golden tiles here. We catch a few, but we're fortunate to catch some really nice ones, so. Oh, the bug is done. That was the bug that was eating my breakfast. There we go. Really big, thick rib bones in here too right there. But got the meat up there. 
Now we're gonna skin it and we're gonna cook this thing tonight. So I just wanna fillet it now. Steven caught it, he's here in the morning. So I'm gonna go give him a nice big fillet. Probably give the beans some too, keep them all happy. The bloodline on a tile fish is pretty thick as well. You can see all that red. So sometimes you may wanna leave just a little bit of that meat and bloodline on here. That way you don't have to cut it up and trim it up at home as much. But just working the knife long strokes. Get this fillet right off that skin. Just like that. I mean, that look how thick that is. That's an inch and a half, two inches thick right there. I always like when I take the bloodline out of a fish, I'll fold it over like that. And then you can see where it runs down the center. That's the center bone and the bloodline. Just go right on the edge of that on each side. Knock it right out. You can put the knife at a little angle too to get rid of most of that bloodline up top. And straight down, get rid of all those bones. Just like that. And in here, that's, all, that's the bloodline there and all the bones in there. You can see the bones sticking up. So that's fish food. That's the skin of the golden towel fish, real pretty patterns. We're gonna take this nice hunk of meat back home and grill it up. We'll see you in the kitchen. All right, I'm putting you on camera again. Yeah, I want to take it there, so I'm excited. All right, I got the fillets right here, you guys. Michael's here. You saw him in the last video with the swordfish. Say hey again. Yeah, I want What's up? That's right. What's up, guys? Yeah, I want For real, you know? He's going to take the head. He's going to make fish head soup. Yeah, I want All righty. There you go. For real, man. Nice it up, you know? Yep. So there's a little yeah. bit of meat left in the head right here. He's going to make a nice soup out of that and be some dinner out of there, too. All righty. Here we go. Bless. Yeah. We'll see you later. Yeah, respect every time. All right, we're back in the kitchen. We got golden tile fish, put it in a tin foil here. Got some lemon olive oil, nice coating on there. Salt and pepper next. Pepper on the other. And we got some fresh basil we're gonna put on top of it. Just like that. Oh yeah. We're gonna put some lemon on top of it too. And we're gonna throw a few tomatoes in there to let them cook up as well. So we're gonna add some spinach in there and this will help cook the spinach in there and steam it on up of sorts. Sadie, what do you got there? Bicycle pump and a flashlight. All right, so let's get this in there. Now ideally I would have put the spinach underneath the fish but it's too late so we're gonna put it on the side. All right, the grill's to 400. Here we go. Fish going on. See in about 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes on the grill. Let's check them out. And Sarah's fish that she's eating, you know, it's thinner fillets. It's not golden tile fish. That's done now. It looks really good. She added a little cheese to it too, but take a peek at it. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. And the tile fish over here a little bit thicker. Oh, that looks nice too. Ooh, that's hot. Here we go. And we'll just, we'll give the golden tile fish another two minutes to cook because it's pretty thick fillets. Oh, that looks good. I can smell it from here. Gabe, can you smell it? Oh, it smells delicious. Sadie, what you saying? You like the fish? All right, sir, how was your fish? Really good. Delicious? Mm-hmm, delicious. All righty. Sarah devoured her fish. I just got to the table. She's already halfway done. Yours took longer to cook. Mine took a little bit longer to cook because of that thick filet, but it looks really good, you guys. I haven't had golden towel fish in a long time. Time to try it out. So a lot of people say it tastes like lobster, just the texture, the consistency of it. Let's try it out here. Flakes apart, just like that. It is really good. You can really taste the lemon on it and the basil. But look at that. A little bit different. You can see the texture is a little bit different than a lot of normal fish. Sadie, you're making a lot of noise. 
All right, let's try a bigger bite. It is really good. And it's, it's a little dense. You know, it is, that's where they call it like lobster. It is good. I like it. Different texture. All right, we always got to double check our fish by giving Sadie a bite. See if she likes it. Ready? You like it, Sadie? You don't like it? <laughs> All right, Sadie. <laughs> Sadie did not like the fish. I don't know why. I think it's good. Try a bite, Sarah. Let us know what you think. Who's dense? <laughs> dense, right? Yeah. Still good. No, it's really good. It tastes good. It's mild. It's not fishy. You just have to chew it a little bit. Like, <laughs> this triple tail just melts in your mouth, you know, but have to chew it up a little bit like lobster <laughs> like lobster all right so just like everyone said it is kind of more like lobster the yeah. consistency of it it is really good um some people go crazy over it we've let that fish sit for three days a couple extra days maybe even soften up more but still great eating really fun to catch beautiful fish a lot of people go crazy over it hope you all enjoyed that video hit that like button make sure to subscribe turn on your notifications if they're not on so when i upload a video you can get them if you want to see more and we'll see y'all next time. We're down here quarantining in the Keys. Say bye, Sadie. Sadie, say subscribe. Bye-bye. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all next time.